While there are many pattern features that can be used to replicate geometry, the Fill Pattern command allows you to fill a specified area with that pattern. This patterning command is unique in that the number of patterns and layout is automatically determined based on the defined area. This area can be adjusted by setting the margin values, and a variety of patterning types are available to create custom layouts. This exhaust shroud surrounding the pipe currently doesn't have any perforations in the sidewalls to let heat escape. It's currently acting as a sleeve. To create the perforations around the circumference of the shroud, I'll use the Fill Pattern command to copy a number of cutouts across the outer surface. To add the perforations, I'll open the part in a new window. The perforations should be added in a uniform pattern around the outside of the part. To add the pattern, I'll need to create a single cutout and then apply it to a flat surface. If I move the rollback bar just above the Flex feature in the Feature Manager design tree, I can see that this design was originally created using a flat plate. I can create the perforations on this plate and then move the rollback bar down again to flex the plate into a circular shape with the holes included. I've already created a cutout of a single hexagonal perforation which I'll show by unsuppressing this cut extrude feature. Now I can pattern the cutout. The fill pattern command can be enabled in the features tab of the command manager under the linear pattern flyout menu. There are a number of options available in the property manager, but I'll just focus on a few that I'll need to create the cutouts. The first dialog box is the fill boundary, which defines the area to fill with the pattern. You can select sketches, planar curves on faces, a face, or coplanar faces. In this case, I'll select the front face on the plate. There are a number of pattern types that can be used, including perforation, circular, square, and polygon. Try these out when creating your design. They're helpful in creating unique patterns that fill an area. For now, I'll choose perforation to create an evenly spaced set of cutouts set at an angle to one another. Before setting the pattern layout options, I'll quickly jump down to this selection box under Features and Faces and select the cutout as the feature to pattern. The preview of the pattern appears, and now I can specify the parameters. I want the hexagons to pattern evenly around the length of the plate at an angle of 60 degrees relative to one another. So I'll set the angle between them to 60 degrees and the distance between the cutouts to 3.4813, which is based on the plate's geometry. Notice that there are gaps on the left and right sides of two of the rows. This is because the fill pattern would run off the edge of the plate if the pattern continued. In this case, I want the cutouts to extend up to the left and right edges, which would create a single hexagon at the back when the plate is bent into a cylinder. To include these hexagons, I'll increase the margin to negative one inch, which allows the pattern to extend on each side. Now the fill pattern extends all the way to the edges, which looks good. From here, I can click the green check to add the hexagonal perforations and roll to the end of the Feature Manager design tree. This wrapped the plate into a cylinder with the cutouts included across the surface. Now if I switch back to the assembly, the cutouts are included in the heat shroud design in the assembly.